Hey, welcome to Creating Through Chaos. Today we're gonna take one of those metal small strainers and turn it into a gingerbread man. For the sake of time, I already painted two coats of antique white on it. Now I'm gonna add a light brown color. Make sure it's coated really well. You can use a softer brush for this. Makes it go on easier. Once that's dry, you're going to want to add a second coat. I use the blow dryer to dry the first coat to speed the process up. Again, drying it with the blow dryer, speeding up the process. Nothing worse than waiting for paint to dry. I took a chalk pencil and I drew a swirly line at the top, like you see on Gingerbread Man, like the icing. I drew two teardrops for eyes. I used the white chalk paint, or chalk pencil because the paint will cover it easily and drew a little mouth and then I took a thin liner brush and some white paint and went right over the chalk lines <clears throat> you can see how thin my brush is Using the same small brush and some black paint, I went over the eyes. You want to make sure the eyes are filled in very well. Just follow your chalk lines, outline them first, and then you can start filling them in. It makes it a lot easier. Next, you're going to take your red paint and your same thin liner brush. You don't want to apply too much paint, just a small amount. And if you have to, keep re-dipping. I'm going to line out the mouth with that bright red. Next, I took a magenta color and I dabbed it, Q-tip in it, and made some circles for the rosy cheeks. You don't want to use too much paint here either. Dab most of it off the Q-tip. Use what's left to make the cheeks. Next, using the liner brush, I put two dots for the eyes. And a small white line on either side. Also, going back over my red didn't quite cover as well as I wanted it to. Just making sure that you can't see the chalk. Next I drew in his nose.
and I colored that in in red. And I waited until after I did the eyes and the mouth so I knew about where I wanted the nose. Next, I used my chalk pencil again and drew out a snowflake. Which is just basically lines intersecting. I used my white paint and the liner brush. To do the snowflakes on the cheeks. Just follow the lines that you drew. Now using the pointy part of a pencil, I dipped it in white paint and then put a dot at the end of every one of the lines that I just painted. I use a pencil tip because it's sharp and gives you a nice small dot. See how cute that comes out? I added a small little line on the nose at the top with white. Next, I used the blow dryer to make sure that everything was dry. I used Glamour Dust, which is a sealer and also provides like a glitter effect. And I painted it all over the entire surface. And it comes out white like this, but when it dries, it dries clear. So you don't have to worry about it. But when it comes out white like this, it actually helps so that you know where your coverage is. I made sure to cover all of it so it all had sparkles. And I dried that with the blow dryer. As you can see, it's starting to get clearer and the white is going away. It's not fully dry. It'll take a while before that happens. For the sake of the time on the video, I'm gonna continue on to the next step, which is cutting a piece of fabric. I used this black and white plaid fabric that I had. I cut myself a large strip of that tied it around at the top. And there he is, he's all done. Super cute. 